Um, good morning. So it is Friday morning, um, end of the week, which is always exciting. Um, I just finished teaching my group class this morning. Um, we had a really good time. We did a total body workout, so I definitely um, would say they're pretty sore. So today, um, I'm going to try to film most of my day today. Um, where I've got a meeting to go to now, then I'll probably go home, get some breakfast because I haven't eaten yet. Um, it's just almost quarter after seven. Then um, I'm gonna go get my eyelashes done, so which I'm really excited about. I've never had eyelash extensions before, so this shall be very exciting. Um, and then I'm gonna do a shoulder workout today. So um, yeah, it should be a, a pretty good day and I'm definitely gonna do some work. So let's get going. Okay, um, so I had breakfast this morning. Um, I didn't have, I'm totally late, I'm running behind on everything. Um, I had my oats, so I had 50 grams of oats. Um, I didn't have time to have my eggs, so I had a protein shake, um, but I'm gonna have my eggs later. Um, so sorry I didn't get a chance to show you. Um, I am at my eyelash appointment, so I am heading now. Hopefully not get hit by a car. So, um, stay tuned for some new eyelashes, and hopefully I'll be able to show you a clip over in there. All right, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> that that light does do wonders. It looks good. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Look at that. Staring. There we go. There we go. How good is that? I love it. Okay, Kat, what are we doing? Oh, I don't look good at all. Yeah, you look great. Right, wait, wait. <laughs> Yeah, I'm this ready. is the blooper trail. Okay. Okay. So we're going to be doing a half set of Russian volume. Ooh, I'm excited. All right, we can. We'll take another video when we've got something to show. It's gonna look. Very, it's gonna look very natural. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. All right. <laughs> well, let's do it. <laughs> All done. They look awesome. What do you think? Good. Beautiful. Yeah. So this good. is a half set of volume, so super natural, just like mascara. Oh yay! I woke up you like did this. such a good job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, eyelash extensions all done. Not great lighting. I look really tired. Um, yeah, she did a really awesome job. So now this will be one last thing that I'm gonna. Um, one last thing that I have to do in the morning, a little bit less makeup, so I'm pumped. Um, let's go eat, I'm starving, and then um, do some work, and then we're gonna go train. See you soon. All right, um, so at home, and I literally have no food. Um, Stephen ate the rest, actually, I ate the rest of the broccoli, but I think I blame Stephen for eating it, and um, I've got no rice cooked, I have no eggs, so I'm gonna go hit the grocery store because I, I need some food. Um, yeah, I'm out, so I think I need to go do a grocery shop, I'm gonna restock on some food, um, make some food, do some more work, and then I'm gonna go to the gym, um, I don't know, probably later this afternoon when Steven gets here, so we can train together. Um, yeah, and then it will be it will be an awesome rest of the Friday. Um, so I'm going to go and get some food. So we're on our way to the gym. Um, we're gonna go train shoulders. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm at the gym. So for my workout today was shoulders and abs. So I've been doing the same program for probably close to eight weeks now. Um, so a good little tip to change it around is actually reverse your muscle groups that you're training. Um, so my split is I usually train two different muscle groups um, in the same session. So splitting them and turning them around, so starting with one and then following the other, is a really good little tip um, so that you don't have to kind of redo another um, training program. So starting with abs to begin with, these are jackknife abs. So I did three sets of 20 on each side. Um, so what you want to do is you really want to squeeze through that core. You're squeezing through your obliques, which are your, on your sides, so side abdominals, 
Um, this will kind of help with your muffin top sort of fat kind of ends up and kind of tone through your waistline. I don't train a lot of obliques. Um, I guess I'm not really looking to grow them, but a good little ab exercise to add in. So you want to bring your feet up to both feet, up to touch your hands, um, hands, sorry, and you're really kind of going through that side crunch. Um, I find these kind of difficult, so they're a good little challenge. Um, if you can do more than 20, you know, by all means, you know, you can uh, do as many as you like. Uh, but make sure you're controlling them as you can go. Awesome. Okay, next I went on to ab uh, toe touches. So you want to bring your shoulder blades off the mat and you're using your hands and reaching and kind of as far as you can on either side, trying to touch your shoes. Um, you'll Again, this is a side oblique move and as well as a core move. Um, you really got to keep your core engaged. Don't want to use your neck. Um, so you just want to be nice and strong, reaching side to side. Okay, next I've got seated shoulder uh, front raise. So you can do this seated or standing. Obviously I'm doing it seated. You wanna make sure your chest is up, your core is engaged nice and strong and really controlling through these sets. Um, so I'm going up for one and trying to go as slow as I possibly can on the way down. Um, I probably would have liked to have gone a little bit slower uh, but I'm trying to lift kind of as heavy as I can. So for this one, um, I think I was doing eight kilos. I'm kind of really trying to, as long as I can kind of get eight out, then um, that's kind of what I'm going for. So eight to 10 reps um, and just strong up, and nice and controlled down. Um, you can definitely tell by the end that they're getting heavy. <laughs> Okay, next I'm doing a lateral raise or also known as a side shoulder raise. Again, I'm doing this movement seated. So you want to just make sure your chest is up, abs are strong, really going up for one count and trying to slowly go down, really feeling that burn through your shoulders. Um, again, three sets going for the eight to 10 range. Um, if I can get out, you know, 10 or 12, easily then I'm definitely going to go up a weight. So I'm trying to start as heavy as I can and decrease it if I can't get them out towards the last sets. Okay next is rear delts. Um, so I'm doing like a bent over rear delt um, fly. Um, I'm also trying to keep my elbows forward so facing the front. Um, these are kind of a bit weird, a little bit tricky, but once you kind of get the, the hang of it and you feel those muscles working, um, it'll make sense. So again, up strong and trying to control that down as slow as possible, um, aiming for around the 8 to 10 rep mark. Okay, last exercise was a seated shoulder press. Um, my, I guess, plan is usually I do this on the Smith machine, but it was taken, so you just kind of have to roll with it because I didn't feel like waiting. Again, kind of controlling it down, strung up, looking at around the eight to 10 rep range. To finish off all my weight training workouts, I'm doing some moderate cardio. So just walking on the treadmill, um, obviously I'm training for comp and I've, you know, my goal is I need to obviously drop some body fat. So that's, um, that's how I finished off my workout. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel um, and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching this video. You can also follow my fitness journey on Instagram at Andrea Norton and look forward to bringing you more health and fitness videos. Bye.